Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So I've not done an updated sort of channel video for a while, um, or a mail call video, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to um, kill quite a few birds with one stone as it were. So in this video we've got two new cars that have arrived, it should have been three but um, I've had my pants pulled down on one which we'll talk about later. I've got a load of general stuff to show you, I want to show you some projects that are half finished, some are, some are half finished and some um, winter projects to come. And also, if you stay to the end, I'm going to do a little quiz just to see how sharp some of you guys are. So hopefully that'll be a bit of fun. So first things to show you, I've got all the equipment now to do the full restoration of my original frog, which is not there, it's down there. Um, so what we've gone for, um, Tammy and Riri shell, which is obviously identical with wing. Um, got a wheel set, tyre set, and we've got the full screw set that we need. Also purchased the um, Tamiya driver figure for it, and I also got the missing front uprights, which is cool. Um, and within this hardware bag, um, I have got the um, upright screws, which were missing as well. So I'm absolutely good to go with that. Um, and again, it's a winter project, but we'll talk about that very soon. So that's the first thing. Next up, shed load of decals arrived. So I'll just go through these very quickly. Um, first of all, we have a set of um, original Tamiya decals of the Riri Hotshot, and we also have um, an original reproduction set from MCI. We're going to talk about these in a lot more detail later. Um, got the Tamiya original um, frog decals, but I also got um, an original reproduction set from MCI. As you know, I like to uh, make them look as original as I can. So that's that one. Something a little bit different now. Got these um, super cool Kyosho um, decals for the 6.6, .6, which again we're going to talk about in more detail. And on that, I've gone for some star decals, which again, we'll talk about very soon. Um, this is a cool sheet, this is from MCI, hang out, I'm quite away, you can't see a thing, it just looks like a white sheet of uh, stickers. Um, these are tyre decals, um, and the ones I always use are the um, Michelin Pilot SX. These look absolutely quality on any, any Tamiya saloon car, um, slicks, rally tyres, whatever. Um, you get a full sheet for like 10 Canadian dollars, so like six pounds or something. Um, but um, I'm going to do a future video with that, you're putting these on so you can just see what kind of difference these things make. And finally, I know I've shown, it, showed these before, but I just thought I'd show them again to any newcomers. This is an um, original set of Tamiya decals for the um, Ford Cosworth Tiger Stripe. Um, I'm getting pretty close now to be doing this. Um, some on the back as well. Believe it or not, there's going to be over 130 decals to fit and they're going to be quite a challenge to do. So I have been kind of putting it off but I'm going to show you some other stuff and um, you'll see the car itself. And also guys, if you watch this to the very end if you're interested, I'm going to do a little comparison um, of um, Tamiya decals versus MCI just in case you've never used MCI re um, reproduction decals and I'll show you what they look like close up against original and um, reproduction. So next up is slight change from Tamiya back onto Kyosho the Laser ZX 6.6 .6. if you've not checked out this video of when I got this car please do um, as you can see the body shell is pretty manky um, so the um, where are we? Get this right way around. So the penguin body shell and wing is here. Awesome company, great prices and fantastic service. This is um, a little bit of a customized shell and it has an extra wing thing going down the end. Um, if you did watch the first video I did on this car, you'll know that I'm planning to do pretty cool paint job on it, fingers crossed. Um, I've put the colours out where, that it's going to be, so obviously it's going to have a brand new shell and wing with, whoops, we've got yellow, black, pink and blue. We've got them crazy decals and we've also got some stars that are going on. They're going to be used as stencils, so I'm 
I'm super excited about that one to be honest. Um, majority of you know I'm not the best painter, but um, I think we're going to have this thing looking pretty epic if I'm honest. Um, I had planned to get all the electrics in this first, um, but I'm still waiting for the custom saddle pack battery straps to be made. Um, so they should be here quite soon. So I thought instead of waiting around and, and it's collecting dust, we'll get the body shell done and I'll, at least it's going to be nice to look at. So next up we have um, a pair of off-roader um, Thundershot tyres. Might be a bit of a giveaway to one of the cars, but it's not Thundershot. Um, next up we have a full set of Super Spike Tamiya tyres. Um, you'll probably know these best from the Super Shot. Again, haven't got a super shot to show you, but uh, it's coming soon. What else we got? We've got a set of these. Don't know if you've ever used these. These are body mount extension set. I've never used them. Um, a lot of cars I get come with the body shell um, things cut too low. And trying to ward the correct ones for whatever chassis it is, especially if it's an older chassis, it's a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to have a go with these. I've got one car to try them on. And they just they got, they go on top of the existing mount and then get a pin through so obviously it gives you a full extension now whether it's going to sort of rattle around or what I don't know but uh, we'll give it a try anyway and then we've got two um, bearing kits one for a two wheel drive bugger, one for a four wheel drive bugger of which you're going to see those cars very soon so if you follow this channel you'll know I've been hitting the uh, Tamiya rally cars pretty hard recently there's a some cars you've seen maybe some you haven't and you might have not seen them in this in the stage you're in the um, blue 97 Colin McRae replica is now finished, um, I've, I've done with that car now. The orange German, German Rally Edition is now finished with as well, um, I've just done a full tear down of that. And I'm only left now with the um, Ford Cosworth of where next job for that is to going to get the electrics in it, a little bit of decaling. We're not going to do the full decal restoration until I'm finished with it because it's, um, I'm not going to put the brand new original decals on and then run it. That's going to be the last thing I do. I've got to be honest, I never really envisaged putting um, rally cars on this channel, but uh, I'm so glad I have. These things in scale looks are just absolutely epic. I'll just lower the camera. I mean, <laughs> seriously, look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, God, I could look at that all day, guys. I really could. As I say, we're done. We're done with the two Scoobies now. Um, and as I say, Cosworth's next on the list at, at some point. But um, I hope you guys agree. These things are just absolutely stunning. So just on that, guys. If you want to see more rally cars and saloon cars, can you leave it in the comments? Because um, obviously it's pretty difficult to gauge what you do and don't want to see. But right now, um, the these videos seem to be do particularly well but um, it's always nice to get feedback in the comments to whether or to what you are, you guys actually want to see so um, let us know and that brings me nicely on to winter projects so I got it wrong last year um, I tried to use the channel I'd carry on with the channel as I did sort of normal in the summer where you, you when you finish a restoration on a build you get it out running and it's it's nigh on impossible over here um, it's not just the snow, it's the you know, severe minus temperatures. Can't get cameras to work. So um, I've geared up for this winter in a different way and I'm still doing it. So these, as what, these are what I class winter projects. So obviously we've got the Porsche 911 on the TTO one. That's going to look really cool. Check that video out if you haven't already. We've got an original Mac 1 Thundershot and we've also got an original shell and decals for it and, and some other bits so that's going to be a full tear down as we alluded to earlier I've got the um, original Mac 1 frog um, that's going to be a full tear down as well and in the box underneath um, we have an original fav fast attack vehicle 100% original uh, and it's completely in bits uh, me, me, excuse me mainly new parts the only thing that needs is the driver figure's left arm which I've got on order that'll be probably the only re re part on it so some absolute great builds there's others coming but I'm not going to give a spoiler alert on that but as I say content wise we're going to do this differently 
Once they're done, if we get the opportunity to give them a blast, we will do. But if we don't, they'll just sit on the shelf until um, winter starts to soften, as it were. But we'll definitely get them out. Just on that, on this video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, I said that this was just going to be basically a shelf queen, uh, maybe even a dry build. Listen to your, you guys' comments and you're all absolutely right. It's a waste if I do that. This thing's got to have a blast and get it running, so we will be doing that as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's it for winter. As the new stuff comes, I'll show that as and when. So, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to show two cars, of which this is one of them, but it actually should have been three cars. But I got my pants pulled down on a on buying a car. Completely my own fault. Um, and I can honestly say, hand on heart, with 46 years, within the last 46 years, I've done the majority of that on Tamiya stuff. And it's the first time I've ever been conned. Um, I'm more, more so, I, I wasn't covered in any way um, because of how I paid for it and what have you. Completely got my pants pulled down. Um, the guy should have been wearing a mask, he's robbed me. Um, and the gutting thing was, I'm not losing the money is bad, but it's losing the car that I'm really gutted about. So this happened about five weeks ago um, on a local. Canadian selling site. It's called Kijiji. Um, it's basically Canada's version of Gumtree, if you know what that is. So it's like a a dodgy eBay, um, and it was a hot shop too, and it was mint. And um, yeah, I got I got sucked in. Um, in my defence, I spoke. I had massive conversations with the guy, and he just seemed so genuine. Um, telling me all about car extra photos and stuff and um, we agreed a price sent him the cash and he said right I'll have it away to you in a couple of days so I gave it a week didn't turn up so I messaged him didn't get a message went on the site all his other ads it wasn't RC but all his other ads had disappeared I'm like hmm um, sending him messages emailing him got had his phone number so because I like to think the best of people, I was thinking, well, maybe something in life's happened, you know, um, which it does to us all, and he's, he's just not in a position to send it for whatever reason, or, you know, maybe he's ill, you know. So I gave him benefit of doubt for two weeks, so I started messaging him again, nothing, and I was getting a little bit annoyed, and then I went back on this site, and um, you can see, you know, what that user's other listings are, because he'd taken everything down, which kind of made me think something had happened at his end anyway his ad started to come back on not the hotshot 2 ad but um so i messaged him again like what's going on and just nothing so i text email through the selling site so well and truly you know um but I'll, i won't make that mistake again as i say it's the first time it's happened to me but you know um i should have at least been covered through paypal and uh, i took the risk and uh, i got burned so as i say gutted but this one's turned up, so I'll obviously it's the Tamiya Hotshot. Brand new build, yes, not original, 2007 Riri. Um, obviously the body shell's missing, we have the wing, but this is a little bit of a project car. And this is when I said put a quiz on the thumbnail. So this is, I'm gonna ask you a question at the end of this um, and see how sharp you guys are. So. I'm going to do something slightly different. It's still going to be a hot shot. It's still going to look like a hot shot, but it's going to have a different shell on. The, my question is, the shell's in here. Obviously, I'm not showing you it. What shell am I putting on this hot shot? Bear in mind, it's still going to look like a hot shot. I'll be very impressed if anyone gets this in the comments. Um, so as I said, the shell and wings in there um, the super spike tyres that I showed you I'm going to use those and I've also got a set of gold hotshot wheels on the way because if you get the hotshot looks far better with the gold wheels and the white so gold wheels super super spike tyres got the as I said the ball race kit for it um, and uh, a different shell so as I say guys, jump in the comments and let's see how sharp you are, what shell is going on this hot shot that makes it still look like a hot shot. I'm going to give you a little bit of help 
It's not Hot Shot 2 and it's not a Super Shot shell. Go for it. And just another little teaser that I forgot to mention. I've purposely bought a second set of decals. The only decals missing off this are the ones that's gone on that wing. So the full car decals are on here. But in order to do the shell I'm doing, I ordered another set and it's not just to make the car look like the original. I am gonna use two sets of decals. <laughs> if you get this, I'll be amazed. And my second new arrival is an original, never been reread yet. It's from 1986 and it's two wheel drive and I am super stoked to have it because it's in awesome condition. Look at that! Yep, obviously it's the Tamiya Falcon and this thing is really, really, really nice condition. Um, so obviously, we'll, well, we'll, we'll go close in on this. So we've got the front tires with uh, front wheels and tires, correct tires. Got a nice set of rear wheels for it. And obviously that's why I showed you the, um, what I call the Tamiya Thundershot tires, the off-roaders, is which that's what the um, Falcon uses on the rear. And the small set of, or full set of two wheel drive ball races for it. Um, I was re I'm really itching to bang the tyres on and put the wheels on, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna to do that for a different video. Um, I'm also planning, I, obviously you guys who follow me know I'm really bang into the tyre writing. Um, I just think it looks epic. And I do everything in, in the, with the Sharpie, um, ultra fine tip paint pens. Um, and I always do them in white because it's kind of a, such a universal colour. But um, when I did my last 2011 Avante, um, I used the yellow tie writing and it was absolutely epic. Um, because obviously the Avante's got the yellow decals or against the blue, the yellow tie writing just looks superb. And then I was thinking, um, there's probably not another car you could do that on where yellow would look cool. I was wrong. So this, this Falcon's gonna have yellow tie writing, which might sound nerdy, but I think that tyre writing mech just finishes these cars off. So we'll definitely be doing that. So let's have a, a closer look at this car. This is just such an iconic Tamiya buggy from back in the day. It has so much love out there. It's it's a bit of a tank and it breaks very, very easily. But um, what a good looking car. Look at that. Now, it does need a little bit of work but it doesn't need much. As I say, wheels and tyres are sorted. It'll be fully ball raced. The steering arms are missing, and that is a little bit of an issue. Um, so I'm gonna see what I've got. Um, obviously I've got sort of turnbuckles, but whether they're gonna be long enough to get on this, I very much doubt. Um, let me just whiz the shell off for you. Um, so that could be a sticking point for me. Be careful taking this shell off. Look at that. And obviously nothing's broken. Brand new, let's see if you can see that. Brand new chassis, bumper, arms. The only thing that would need replacing if it wanted to be 100% mint is the yellow um, gearbox cage. But I'm really not bothered about that. And obviously we've still got the speedo in. Let's turn that round. Shocks need to come off and get cleaned up. But again, no bigger. It's just the steering arms is the only sticking point because obviously you just can't buy these things. You can make them out of piano wire. So we might have to do that at some point. It's got the old white end bell 540 on as well, which is nice. Um, I'm really hoping the free speed goes because probably gonna go old school with this using AM radio gear, um, two servos, just because it'll be awesome to see it running. And the shell, it's got a couple of, oops, couple of wrinkles here and there. I might see what we can do. See the driver, can't really see it, can you? But um, absolutely top, top Nick. Very, very happy with this. Yeah, it's an absolute thing of beauty. So as I said, I'm absolutely stoked to get one in this condition. Um, and this thing is gonna run, and it's gonna run very soon. 
The Falcon and the Hotshot are not classed as winter projects for me. These are to get out as quickly as I can and make content. Again, as long as I can get that steering fixed, sorted out in quick time, then this thing's going to be hitting the Tamiya Legends ramp. You know my thing for taking still pictures from the videos. I've got some epic shots of the running videos we've been doing. And um, I need a Falcon in that collection badly. So I'm really, really, really chuffed on an I say about a lot, but um, very difficult to get an, a Falcon in this condition. Um, so as I say, that's the two new arrivals, should have been free. Um, and as promised, if you're interested guys, I'll now dig out the um, decals and I'll show you the difference between um, MCI and original Tamiya decals, if you're interested. So as you can see, original set of Tamiya Riri, original set of reproduction, and original set reproduction, both MCI, and that's Tamiya's Riri. So obviously Tamiya decals are far superior, obviously they are, but MCI and other reproduction companies give you the chance to make your car look like it did back in the day. So just looking quickly at the um, original Tamiya Riri decals, little things like that where you've got these two large um, forward decals, spotlights, bright light, you know, that was never the original. Where it says forward here, the original was Pennzoil. Where it says bright light on the spots, there were daylighters, you know. Obviously on this shirt set, you don't get any of the um, STPs, Budweiser, um, and KNNs on there somewhere, I might be wrong. But, you know, or Budweiser, you just, you don't get any of those decals. Um, now again, does it really matter? Yeah, sorry, there's a KNN. Um, obviously on the re because of licensing issues or whatever, they do their own versions of it. And they're still the same shape, shape same colours and what have you, and they look good. But for me, the number one benefit of a reproduction sheet is to just make those little changes. Use as many of the original decals as you can, which obviously I will do. Um, but anything that was different, that differed on the re, -re finish that off with reproduction decals. Quality wise, it's going to be a little bit difficult to show you, I guess. I'll just try get a little bit closer. Let's look at those spotlights, I guess. Might be a bad example. Let's look at the pens oil. So as you can see, sizes, shapes, colours, they're all the same. Um, it's very rare that and, um, the size is different. But um, anyway, as I say, it's just in case you guys are not aware of reproduction decals and what they can do. Just on that, I'll show you the hot shot we've got. Um, let's look at the gold. Let's look at those. So as you can see, that's MCI's and this is Tamiya's, although it's re re but it doesn't matter. They stay the same. A little bit difficult to say with a, with a gold, with this being on white background. But let's see if we can get them both shining. As you can see, the colour the colours are the same. They really are spot on. It doesn't happen all the time on some on reproduction decals, but uh, I, I do know that these two sets are absolutely cock on. Again, spotlights, mega important for me. The 2007 Riri has this um, BL bright light spotlights, which they still look good. But as the majority of you guys know, it was KC Daylighters on the original. It's an absolute must. There's a little one, that's an interesting change. So obviously on the original, um, you had the KNN logo for KNN filters. Now, due to licensing laws, they couldn't do that. Tammy couldn't do that. So they went with these super grippers. So as you can see, they kind of try to keep the same color, but it's not the same logo. Again, if you're not aware of this, it wouldn't make any difference whatsoever, but I I, I think it's it's good to know. What else? If we look at that Hotshot Elm, 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 I can't even say the word, this here. Now, I can't really, let me see if I can get a bit closer without being a bit too shaky. Get that light out. So, as you can see, that's the Tamiya and it's, you know, it's very clear. It's... But when you look at the reproduction, although it's very good, you can just see it's not as crisp. If you look at those feathers to those, you see the difference. That's 
that's the only difference uh, and you can't expect them to be absolutely perfect again this is just aimed at you guys who didn't know this sort of option was available right guys hope you enjoyed that as you can see got a ton of stuff that were that's ongoing we've got a ton of stuff to do we've got some stuff coming and i've got a ton of stuff already of videos already uploaded for you guys to um, hopefully enjoy um still well in front with content ridiculously actually in front if i didn't make any videos now i'd still run this channel for two months <laughs> but i like being in this position because that allows me to do a different video every time i publish and i just think that kind of works for me better but anyway so shed loads to do anyway i'll wrap this video up as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please join in on the little hotshot quiz on what shell I'm going to use. And um, as always, guys, leave any, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Biggest thing you can do for me is hit that notification bell to uh, be notified of our weekly videos. That would be really appreciated. But the most important thing, as always, is, guys, although this is Saturday morning, so firstly, enjoy your weekend. And secondly, happy hour seeing.